Hey guys, what's up, what's going on, and welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're gonna be going over the Eagle HP and what I think of it after the first season. Um, he has owned this motor for a year now. Um, it has just over 300 hours on it. It's got 304 hours or 305 hours on the clock there. Just about 305 and a half. But uh, there's some good things and there's some bad things. And I'll go over them uh, with you in the next few minutes here. Anyway guys, right here it is. This is a 2018 uh, Eagle HP. Um, it does have a Kawasaki 31 horse mower or 31 horse engine on this one. This is their new commercial line. Um, I don't know if they call it the commercial entry or the commercial line. As you can see right away, they have done away with the stainless tanks on the side. These are just for decoration. The fuel tank is actually mounted underneath the seat right now or out underneath the seat now. Um, and it is filled just on one side. Before you had a stainless cover over plastic tanks on both sides of the engine. That's okay, um, and I'll have to go over that, why they moved the fuel tank to underneath the seat. Um, and it, by doing that, I believe the old ones held eight gallons, I'm not mistaken, and these hold nine or 10. So you have just a little bit more fuel capacity. Uh, this is a carbureted 31 horse Kawasaki engine. Uh, before you had a, like on the other one I just got rid of, and on the one that dad still has, um, it had a Generac engine. Now Kawasaki is offering two different engines. You can get the uh, Kohler, which is an EFI, an electronic fuel injection, or you can get a, uh, a Kawasaki, which is just a carbureted. And this engine um, comes in a 31, a 33, and a 35 depend upon what size deck you have. These mowers are available in a 60, a 66, and a 72. Um, and then the size of the engine will depend upon uh, what, or I'm sorry, the size of the deck will depend upon what engine you have. Um, it's a nice engine, I like it. Um, have had a lot of luck with the Kawasaki engines, had a lot of luck with the, the Generac engines. Um, I did not want the EFI engine for him um, just because he's 72 years old and he still works like he's 18 years old. Trust me, he is a working fool. Um, and I just, I wanted some, the simplicity of a carburetor engine for him. So that's why uh, when he bought this last year, uh, well, late in 17, um, he used it all season 18. I had him go with a carbureted engine. It does have the suspension front forks and they have elongated the frame just a little bit on it. They have a piece that's bolted to the front here. The front forks stick out. It's supposed to smoothen the ride. Um, I have ridden this mower. I have operated this mower. It is a pretty nice ride. It has the new redesigned cushion suspension seat. So you got a nice cushion seat and it also is suspension. Depend upon your weight. You turn that to your desired weight and that saw, that's how what depletes the softness of your ride and then like i said it does have the suspension front forks on it some of the things that they have changed they that i'm not 100 percent certain of they did go with a parker hanathan transaxle which i think is pretty nice it has a thousand hour um you can put a thousand hours on those transaxles before uh, they need anything done to them, a filter, an oil change, or anything. Uh, these Dixie Choppers used to have a pump wheel motor combination, uh, pumps being underneath the seats and hoses running down to uh, wheel motors, which drove your tires. Now everything is integrated into one uh, transaxle, which is it's pretty cool. I, I do like the design of that, and I do like to change that. Um, it, it's just one of those things that you're going to have to get used to um, looking, I mean, you're going under the seat they're not there um it's something actually you can forget about until you get a thousand hours on the clock up there so parker hanathan's been around for a very long time and i believe the excaliburs they still run a pump wheel motor combination and they run parker wheel motors so uh, they're still using uh, on the excaliburs like what i'm going to be picking up they they uh they run pump or parker wheel motors on that so i thought that was pretty cool um and i believe the older units also have parker wheel motors on them also all right some of the things that they changed that i don't like uh the operator discharge chute which is that right there that's what i'm going to be putting on this one 
on these HPs, they went to a foot cable operated. And you can see that this cable is actually broke. Um, it runs off of a foot pedal over here, which is nice. I do like that instead of having a handle up there. But when it, let me grab something here. When you operate that discharge chute, when it's up or open, it would stick straight out kind of like that. So imagine driving by and that sticking out like that, you're gonna hit something. And then when you obviously, when you close it, uh, you hit that your cable, it just drops down like that. That's fine, but a lot of times my dad is in very much of a hurry uh, when he's mowing. So with that sticking out like that, he's caught that probably about three times this season. And finally this time it broke the cable and it bent some bracketry, so we're taking, and that bent the, the chute also. So I'm taking and cutting all of this off and just having a flat deck, and I'm actually gonna bolt one of the original uh, operator discharge chutes on there. So those sit, that will sit on there just about like that. And then that way it just goes up and down and it stays out tucked and out of the way. And then he'll just have to operate it from the seat up there, which, I think will be a lot better for him in the long run. Uh, that way there's nothing for me to fix. And also the throttle cable is broken. They put the throttle cables, and not on the Silver Eagles, some of them, the throttle cables have been up here for a while. Uh, he had it sitting outside, it got some water in it, it froze. Um, because he does leaf clean up and we go late into the the winter months um, into january sometimes as far as doing leaf cleanup some moisture got inside the cable down there he went to push it up and snap the cable so uh, that was a fault of his by leaving it sit outside nothing to the fault of machine um, it, it's just one of those things that happens uh, you know they get used and they get used rough one of the other things they did some redesign as far as some framework and stuff like that by putting a tank underneath the seat. It catches a lot, a lot of grass. Um, on front, you know, in between a tank and the fuel tank, or in between these side tanks and the fuel tank, um, up underneath the seats, uh, up on top of the tank. Uh, deck, it, it, they catch grass no matter what. I mean, you can't avoid that. One thing that I had him do was take these covers off. Uh, there is covers over these pulleys but I had him take those off. He has no problem with it because grass will get caught underneath there also. It's just one of those things that you think of and you want to remove, or I have him remove, so, because uh, he's not the best at cleaning things up, so it's just little things I have him do uh, to alleviate work for me. So those get removed so grass doesn't get caught under there. Uh, their deck adjustment, um, I like it. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping all over the place. Um, it goes in quarter inch increments, so starting with one through five here, and then one through four and a quarter, and then so on and so on as far as they go, and that's adjusted with your foot. Just This unit is also offered in, with an electric deck. It has the controls up here uh, to be able to run that. Um, it is not equipped with it, but you can get it. So um, roll bar, I have taken and cut it off because he does do leaf cleanup, so I made a bracket on the back of this mower. This frame actually stops here, and then this is just basically an engine guard back here. This was the rollover protection, and I just I cut it off. I brought it into the, the engine guard, and then I built a frame all the way around the backside, tying into the factory frame right there, so he can hang what's called a track back on the back of this uh, to be able to have some leaf collection. And then there's a chute that mounts on the deck up to a pony motor right here. And then it goes up into a barrel. So anyway, I, I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover tonight as far as this. Um, brakes, they went to a cable style brake on that, which is pretty good. It is very, very touchy. You do want to make sure that it is completely disengaged before you bring your sticks in uh, to take off. So I think that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to go over, just show you guys and give you guys some of my, or give you guys my opinion on the new Dixie Chopper Eagle HP. Um, all in all, it is a fairly nice mower. Um, I have really no issues with it. Just a couple little pet peeves 
A couple little things that, uh, you know, I think they could change, they could tweak on. Um, but other than that, it, it's really, it's a nice mower. Um, like I said, there's just a, a few things that was changed that I don't like, but all in all, um, pretty nice design and it did perform fairly well throughout this uh, 2018 or for file sorry the 2019 season he did buy this this is a 2018 model he bought this late 2018 um so uh i forgot about that this is a 2018 he used it all 2019 did 300 hours on it so yeah you can you can tell how he uses his mower because it, it looks pretty rough right now it needs cleaned up but it is fairly dirty uh, for only 300 hours. So Dixie Chopper does have uh, one more thing. Dixie Chopper has some different financing available also. If you guys are in the market for the commercial end or the homeowners, they go through a company called uh, Sheffield Financial and you can do zero for 48, uh, zero for 36, or zero for 24. They also offer a um, buy now, pay later to where you can buy it now and uh, have no payments for six months. And then I'm not certain what the, uh, the interest rate is after that um, or pay cash for it. I think this was like a $10,000 unit. Anyway guys, this is just like a, a one season review on the Eagle HP from Dixie Chopper. So if you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll talk to you guys later on.